Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Weather-wise, it's an absolutely gorgeous morning here. Beautiful blue sky, some white puffy clouds, 72 degrees right now. Looking at a high of around 85 today. Water temperatures, 80 three degrees according to the sign at the front gate 83 degrees that water is really warming up the bad news is we have an onshore breeze that means the wind is come blowing in from the gulf the red tide has kicked up again and it is really bad the red tide is horrible today and yesterday I don't know if I'm going to be able, how long I'm going to be able to stay out here on the beach this morning. Roy has already gone home. He couldn't take the smell. Lots and lots of dead fish on the beach. Absolutely terrible. Once again, the red tide is back. What a shame, it is so beautiful here. The red tide has been extremely persistent now for the past month. It will not go away, it just comes and goes. And these onshore breezes are what make it bad. Beautiful. Beautiful sky, though. And the waves out there, beautiful colors. Unfortunately, it smells like dead fish out here. fish on the beach here this morning. Not a good day for the beach. Disgusting. Sad and disgusting. Lots of shells up here along the shore. If you want to go shelling around the dead fish, just terrible this morning. Terrible. This is the worst I have seen it. So sad seeing all these dead fish. There's a big catfish. Sea foam out here too. It is horrible today. Yesterday, I guess too. Huh? Yeah, well, I wasn't out here yesterday, but Elsie said that it was just as bad, and they haven't picked up the fish from yesterday. So. Yeah, they can't. They can't even keep 
up with it now. No, it's, it's horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. my best to see what we find along the shore here if there's any interesting shells I feel so bad for our park rangers here our volunteers and park rangers they gotta come out here and dig holes and they collect all the fish off the beach and bury them Mother Nature recycle them. I mean, the beach is just covered with fish this morning. As far as you can see. Sad. I mean, it's as far as the eye can see, the beach is just covered with fish. I doubt we're going to see any dolphins. I'm sure they stay. Just tuning in. This is the effects of red tide, all these dead fish on the beach here. If you want to learn more about red tide, go ahead, just Google red tide. You'll learn about learn all about it. It's a red algae bloom. And we are definitely suffering from the wrath of red tide this morning. Our friend Roy, he's gone home. He didn't want to sit out here with all the dead fish. Can't blame him. I was so looking forward to a beautiful morning and a beach walk. And I come out to this. Look at this, it's disgusting. Smokes. Here's a first, an eel. I have never seen an eel on the beach. There's a dead eel. Wow. That is a first. What a shame. Red tide has shown no mercy. 
all different species of fish on the beach here. Angel fish. Puffer fish, there's a puffer. A couple of some catfish. When is this red tide going to go away? Why is it so bad? That's the red tide causing me to cough <laughs> like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I would definitely not recommend anyone coming out to the beach today. Especially if you have allergies or any kind of respiratory breathing problems. And you look at the weather and it's just it's so gorgeous. And then you look at all this carnage, all these dead fish on the beach. Look at the sky. It's so beautiful out here. Nice little breeze blowing. Weather is just incredible. There's a beautiful piece. There's a piece of a beautiful lightning welt. Just a little sliver of a lightning welt. Beautiful shells of a lightning welt. There's a lot of shells along the beach there. Amongst all the dead fish. It's really warm too. 83 degrees is the water temperature. I'm gonna turn around and start walking up the beach. See what we can find, if anything. Pretty disgusting to look at these fish. Pretty heartbreaking to see them all on the beach, all the dead fish. All different species, sizes. washed up dead on the shore.
very unpleasant task that the rangers here have ahead of them picking up all these fish cleaning the beach of a little scallop shell. Look at the beautiful, beautiful sky, beautiful clouds, gorgeous weather, and then you look down and you see all this. these fish all the way up the beach. Sad. Well, I'm going to try to walk up the beach here, see how long I can take this. Oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful angel fish down here. What a pity. So sad. Wow. Look at the size of that. There's half of a scallop, a beautiful white scallop shell. That would have been huge. That would have been a beautiful find. Hey, I want to thank our Facebook friend, Richard Davies from Neptune Rum. He sent Roy and I a couple bottles of Neptune Rum. Now, rum, of course, Roy doesn't drink. It was a great gesture. The bottles are beautiful. It's an, it's an excellent rum, Neptune Rum. It's an award-winning rum, multiple awards every year. They, just, they win tons of awards. It's a gold Barbados rum. Check out their Facebook page, Neptune Rum. Give it a like if you like rum. Definitely an excellent rum. Thank you, Richard. And there comes one of the helicopters that they use for Spraying for mosquitoes. Actually, no, that I don't know who that was. That, that might have been one of our county helicopters surveying the beach here. So sad. Look at that. Look at all those fish. Really windy out here. 
That's making the red tide worse. It's a big puffer fish, upside down. Old sea trout. There's such a large variety of fish here offshore. So sad to see them like this. stem of a big whelk shell. It's the piece of a big lightning whelk. A little scallop. A piece of a little scallop shell. Not a very pleasant beach walk this morning. Wish this wind would die down. Big kitten's paw. Maybe they call that a lion's paw. I don't know. It's a big one. The sun just dipped down behind the clouds. Dipped behind the clouds. It'll be out in a minute. Oh, sad, a dead horseshoe crab. I don't like seeing these dead. This is a dead one. That red tide has killed everything. What can we do to stop this red tide? Some beautiful seashells. Dead fish. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting this this morning. I heard the red tide was here, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad this morning. I was looking forward to meeting some of our Facebook friends out here this morning, but I would definitely urge them not to come out to the beach today. Even though it might look like one of those beautiful Southwest Florida Chamber of Commerce kind of days, it's not. At least out on the beach, it's not. Oh. No Roy, no Roy here today. He didn't want to sit out here with the red tide and the dead fish. Yes, I was so looking forward to chatting with him. Oh, look at this, another eel. Gosh, 
fish. This red tide has shown no mercy. It has killed everything. That's some type of eel, a spotted eel. I don't know what type of eel it is. Gosh. The only... I have not seen any sharks on the beach, any dead sharks. I am surprised. Not that I want to, I don't want to see anything dead on the beach. Hopefully this doesn't affect our dolphins. And they are air breathing mammals. Hopefully it's not affecting them. There's a big cockle shell over here. Oh, here's another eel over here. I don't know what kind of eels these are. sad. Here's that big cockle shell. Might hang that on the shell tree if I can make it up there through the stench. <coughs> the stench of the red tide and the dead fish. It's not burning my eyes though, so that's a good sign. The wind's coming more out of the north now instead of the west, which is a good thing. It's blowing right at me, right into my face though, right into the camera. Sure, it makes it hard to hear. Somebody wants to share a link to Red Tide so everybody can read up on it. That would be great. Just put it up in a comment. Not seeing many shells along the beach here. There were a lot of shells back in area four. Such a beautiful day <coughs> to be spoiled with this red tide. Beautiful morning.
There's another eel. I don't know. It's so sad seeing this. Does anybody know what kind of eel that is? It's so sad seeing them. Look at the teeth on that. Wow. Is that a little more a eel? Look at the teeth. one of the many species of marine life that we have offshore here at the beach. Sad to see it in that state. This red tide has been relentless. It has been hanging out in the Gulf now for a month. Seems like at least a month. And then when that we get that onshore wind is when we have all these problems. Absolutely terrible. Believe me, I hate seeing this just as much as you do. Looks like we've had some more erosion up here as well. This always happens when we get these onshore breezes. It's more of a breeze, it's a wind. You look at the sky and it is absolutely gorgeous. And you look down at the beach and it's just heart-wrenching. Well, the sun's just gone behind some a little cloud up here. It'll be coming out right up there behind that cloud right there. It'll be popping out in a minute. No surprise that there's nobody here at the beach. There's a couple walkers, some onlookers. but not a very good beach day. I would definitely say stay home if you're thinking about coming to the beach. Find an alternative, which would be, if you're looking for something fun to do, check out the Naples Zoo. It's always fun to walk around there, see the animals, spend a few hours, maybe four hours, a nice half day. Maybe go up to the Everglades Wonder Gardens, check that place out. Spend a couple hours up there. They're rebuilding, still rebuilding since after Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma really wreaked havoc at the Everglades Wonder Gardens, so they definitely could use all the visitors and donations that they can get trying to rebuild that. It's a part of Southwest Florida history, the Everglades Wonder Gardens. I hope there's no fishermen up here at Wiggins Pass this morning. That'd be insane. 
but those fishermen are a die-hard breed. Kind of like me. Most people would think I'm nuts for being out here this morning, but I love sharing the beauty of Southwest Florida with you, but this is a part of nature that you need to be aware of because we can make a difference with this red tide. Not as many fish up here at the north end of the beach, thank you, thankfully. The red tide just comes in like pockets. You'll come across an area on the beach that's just covered with dead fish. And then a little further up or down, there's nothing. We're up in the north area of the park now, up in area five, up by our shell trees. These are some sea grape trees that Hurricane Irma destroyed. It used to be beautiful here. The trees used to arch over the sand, over to the water. It's like walking through a little tunnel. It was beautiful before Hurricane Irma came. I picked up this cockle shell earlier on the beach. You can find a little branch to hang it on. I'm going to hang this somewhere for you guys watching. For all of you that can't make it out here, there's a nice high branch up here I'll hang it on. Try to hang it on. There we go. <laughs> there you go. That shell is for you guys watching that can't make it out here. I'm going to take a quick photo of it. Bear with me. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just taking a picture with that cockle shell right there. That's for you guys this morning. Beautiful blue sky behind it. Absolutely gorgeous. If you're just joining in, we have a horrible red tide here. The red tide is terrible today. Lots of dead fish up and down the beach. The fish aren't so bad up here at the north end of the park. They're really bad down in area four. There was just piles of dead fish out on the beach. We had the wind shift and it was coming in off the Gulf. And that's what brings the red tide in. It's out in the Gulf of Mexico. But we've had Dead fish everywhere. That's a catfish on the left and a puffer fish on the right. Horrible sight this morning. Beautiful weather. And then you got the red tide. This is the other side of our beautiful beach. You're seeing the ugly side of it today. Just a little of Mother Nature's fury. We have seen a little bit of everything, all species of fish on the beach this morning. Even, even eels this morning. That's the first time I've seen eels on the beach. Kind of hard to look at, isn't it? It's amazing how man can screw things up us humans God gives us something wonderful like these beautiful fish and we find a way to destroy them
this has definitely been the longest running red tide that I can remember. Last week we had thought it had moved on, but apparently not. We're up at the north end of the park, up at Wiggins Pass now. This is North Naples, Florida. Earlier I was saying the only thing, the only fish they have not seen dead on the beach are sharks. Is, that, is there a reason for that? Is it just a fluke that I haven't seen any? Does anybody know why sharks might not be affected by red tide? I mean, we have lots of sharks out here in the water. Wherever there's ocean there's sharks it's just the way it is but i have not seen any sharks on the beach i've seen every species of fish we have no sharks lots and lots and lots of catfish They're all catfish right here Thank God, no dolphins. I hope the red tide doesn't affect the dolphins. I believe they are safe because they are air breathers. They don't breathe with their gills. Pretty disgusting, but I just wanted to share the other side of our beautiful beach with you. This is what happens when things get out of control. Do you think Lake Okeechobee has something to do with the red tide? Whether it does or doesn't. All that runoff from up there in the sugarcane fields, all those pollutants, the chemicals washing into the water and getting into our, our rivers and streams. Shame on those people up there, big sugar. And we all use sugar. <laughs> We're all guilty of supporting those SOBs. And there's two fishermen out here, hard to believe. Two guys actually out here fishing at Wiggins Pass this morning. Wow. Now they say it's safe to eat the fish that you catch in a red tide. You just have to make sure you don't eat the organs of the fish, and that's what the red tide affects is the organs. They say just wash the fish and it's safe to eat. I don't know if I'd want to try it, but there comes a one of the tugboats that pushes the barges. We're having, there's some barges out here. They're dredging Wiggins Pass. Probably a little rough for them out there today, but this is one of the, the boats, the tugboats that pushes the barges around.
fighting that current right now. That's Barefoot Beach on the other side of the pass there. Pretty windy. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I can't see the screen. A lot of glare. But that's Barefoot Beach across Wiggins Pass. Really rough out there this morning. Look closely, you can see the condos all the way up to Fort Myers Beach along the shoreline. Look how rough it is in that path. Wow. That's one of the dredging barges out there. Not a pretty day here. I mean, Weather-wise, yes, it's gorgeous. But the red tide is just terrible. We've got dead fish all over the beach. Our friend Roy is not here today. He came and left. I'm sure he didn't want to be out here. There are a few people walking the beach. Hard to believe. I'm one of them. mullet. Probably if you want to learn about red tide, just Google red tide. If you want to share the link here in the comments, others can learn about it. Please do so. Not a good thing, the red tide. Just taking a quick photograph. Beautiful sky. Beautiful, beautiful sky this morning. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be 85 degrees today. It's supposed to clear up. The clouds are going to blow away. with all the dead fish on the beach. This piece of whelk, part of a beautiful lightning whelk shell. You got this beauty, beauty like this. And then you look and you got this. Ah. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. What can we do to stop this red tide? It 
share this video. <coughs> I want people to get angry when they see this. Another lightning whelk, an old lightning whelk. Another beautiful shell. More dead fish. That's so sad. They are all up and down the beach. Beautiful. Beautiful little cockle shell over here. That is a great specimen of a cockle shell. That's a beauty right there. I'm seeing both sides of Mother Nature now. The beauty and the disgust. This is not what our beaches normally look like. But lately, we've been this red tide has just been very persistent. Beautiful little cockle shell. Cockle shell, scallop shell, what am I saying? Cockle. I had a cockle on my mind. Beautiful little scallop shell. Over here, it's a beautiful piece of coral. Wow. Little, another little scallop shell, nice little scallop. There's, you can see we have all different size scallops here. Oh, I thought it was a piece of coral. It's a, an old cockle shell covered in barnacles. Look at that. That is really cool. It's a cockle that's just covered in barnacles. That is very, very neat. I thought that was a piece of coral. Isn't that cool looking? Yep, that's all fish there on the beach. Sad, sad, sad. What are we gonna do to stop this nonsense, this red tide? Look at all these poor fish. This is just a tiny little piece of our coastline where I'm at. There's miles and miles and miles of beach that look like this right now. And why am I doing this? Why am I showing you this? I want to make you mad and angry. I'm sure there's something we can do to stop this. Beautiful beaches being destroyed by red tide and other things. <coughs> yeah, it's got a whiff of that red tide. Disgusting.
breaks my heart to see our beaches like this. Stand by, I'm gonna take a quick photo. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm back. A lot of people walking the beach in disbelief. This, this lady has her face shielded from the wind coming in off the golf, but you definitely don't want to be out here if you've got any kind of respiratory problems. I did not see Roy's car here when I got to the beach. Thankfully, he went home. I hope he went home. I have seen just about every species of fish that we have here in the Gulf dead on the beach this morning, including a couple of eels. I've never seen eels washed up on the beach in the red tide. That was a first, seeing some eels. There's sheephead, drum, mullet, catfish, kingfish, snook, gosh, redfish snapper. Haven't seen any grouper, thank goodness. There's an eel right here. I was just telling you I've seen eels on the beach. Here's an eel right here washed up on the beach. Tangled up in the seaweed. There's a little eel. Seen several eels on the beach. It's amazing all the species of marine life we have out here just offshore but what a horrible way what a horrible way to see them to experience them So disappointed. I was hoping for a beautiful morning this morning, a beautiful beach walk. Instead, I come out to this disgusting sight of the dead fish. And what you got to understand is our park rangers, wonderful people, our park rangers here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. They're gonna come along with trash bags, buckets. They're gonna collect all of these dead fish. They're gonna dig holes and bury them, let mother nature recycle them. But that is just an overwhelming task. And it's been going on here for at least a month, on and off. The red tide has just been lingering offshore. It's an old conch shell. I know this is not the beach you're used to seeing in my beach walks, but darn it, I hope this is making you really mad. Because somehow we gotta take action, figure out what this is causing this red tide and put a stop to it.
just a little further down the beach, the amount of fish on the beach gets worse and worse and worse. There's, <coughs> excuse me, really cool piece of worm rock. I'll try to show you something interesting besides a dead fish. There's a really nice piece of worm rock. Look at that. Is that not cool looking? So neat when you look at it up close. Worm rock. There you can see more fish piled up on the beach. Look at that. Puffer fish over there. another eel I hope seeing that makes you mad. I hope it makes you as mad as I am. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Southwest Florida. Spoiled. Another beautiful day spoiled by red tide. Look at that sky though, is it not beautiful? Beautiful weather. Beautiful clouds. Even the waves are beautiful. Sad. Here's another eel washed up on the beach.
Ash. That is so sad. Excuse me. This red tide is really making me cough. All catfish here, three catfish. Not a good day to come to the beach. Beautiful angel fish here, dead on the beach. How sad. That's a big angel fish. Beautiful. So sad. It is terrible out here. I can't hear a word you're saying. It's Patty Knight. Say hi, Patty. Hi, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of the live specimens. Leave the live specimens. Yeah, the live specimens. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Claudia. You came Claudia. out here? Yes. You braved the red tide, yes. Claudia. How are you doing? Hi, guys. How are you how are doing, you? Karen? Good. Very good. And this is our new friend we just picked up, Scott. Oh, Scott. Scott, hey Scott, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, doing fantastic. I can't believe anybody's out here. But we, oh. Claudia wanted to meet you and oh. wanted to meet well, here I Roy. Am. Yeah. I called Roy and left him a message. Thankfully he went home. He doesn't need to be out here. The, no. the guard said he no, stepped on a fish yesterday. Oh, did he? Uh -huh. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh -oh. I hope it wasn't a catfish. That's yeah, what he was so. saying. Yeah. Gosh, those <coughs> get a nasty infection from them. Yeah. So this is life, and we just this is life, and you're sitting on Audrey's bench. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Gosh. So how long are you here for? Till Saturday. Saturday. Why? I saw you were walking on Vanderbilt yesterday. I know that was See, horrible. Seeing all the videotaping the fish. Yeah, and then uh, and the people in the water. I just it amazed me how they get in they the water. They say it doesn't affect you, but I don't want to take a chance. I don't know. As soon as I got into the garage and I felt the. Uh, tickling in my yeah. toe and I start coughing and I say okay now this is what died. It's not bothering you anybody out here today? A little bit. It's bothering it's us a lot. Little. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's in like pockets. You know right. as you walk along the beach yeah. it, it yeah. hits you and then it doesn't bother you. But It was real bad at the beginning. Oh my goodness I couldn't even talk to the guard. Or the oh yeah at the gate. Yeah couldn't it was bad there. Him. Yeah. He said Roy was here and left I believe is what I heard. Yeah, I figured he came early for sun sunrise and yeah. couldn't take the fish and the smell. Maybe and it's a, a lunch day instead of a yeah. beach day. <laughs> well, this is so cute. Our four of our good friends, our new friend Scott yes. <laughs> and Claudia. Karen, one of our new residents. Exactly. Yeah. Are you guys settled in now? I wouldn't call it settled. So, but in, you're in. You're you're officially here. here. Yeah, we're officially yeah. here. That is such a neat story. It is. 
Taryn and Tom Blair actually moved into Barbara's old place, our friend Barbara Grove. Hi Barbara. Yeah, Barbara, if you're hi, watching, Barbara. hi. Hi, Barbara, I'm to meet you. Yeah. yeah, we miss your shells out here on the beach. <laughs> I would have had to enjoy that. Yeah, yeah that would have been fun, yeah. Well, she's on her cruise still, I guess. I don't oh, know. Oh, nice. Yeah, she went on a cruise. Anyway, well, it's good meeting you. Same here. I might be back taking pictures. I don't know what's going on. Let me get a... Just get a picture of you guys anyway while I'm here. Share it, do whatever, rip it off, download it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks for all you do. Oh, thank you for watching. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Gosh. Four of our Facebook friends. That is so neat. They came out here just to say hi. Brave the red tide. Wow. And the red tide is wicked today. Wicked, wicked. Look at all these dead fish, folks. <coughs> That's what's making me cough. The red tide. Definitely not what you're used to seeing on my morning beach walks, is it? Well, I hope this is this video this morning has made the right person angry enough and it gets in the hands of the right person and we find a way to change this. Figure out how we can get rid of this red tide. What the true cause of it is. I can't believe I actually came out here and walked the beach this morning. Was not pleasant. Was not what I was expecting this morning. Hopefully Roy is okay. Just heard from Patty Knight that Roy might have stepped on one of these fish yesterday. Hopefully he doesn't get an infection. There's a lot of them here. Pretty gross. There's another eel. We've seen quite a few eels on the beach. First time I've seen eels on the beach. From the bed from the red tide. This red tide outbreak has not spared any species of fish. We have big catfish. Got to be very careful where you're walking. You don't want to step on a catfish. I believe this is a, is that a trout maybe? A speckled sea trout? So sad. A little angel fish.
Well, I'm sorry to share that, to bring this to you, but I thought I need to show you the other side of the beach here. I hope you share it. It's definitely not a representation of what our beach is like all the time. Thank you for watching. I know it was pretty hard to look at for a lot of you. And like I said, no species of fish was spared by this red tide. Beautiful little angel fish. A horseshoe crab. There's a dead horseshoe crab. Nothing has been spared. So, so sad to see this. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all of my photos and videos. They're not all as disgusting. This is the other side of our beach, the raft of Mother Nature. And I'm sure man has something to do with the red tide. So let's see if we can figure out what the cause of the real cause of red tide is and put an end to it. Share this video. Hopefully the right people will see it. Start taking some action. Have a great Wednesday, wherever you might be watching from. I know we got friends from all around the world. Be sure to let them know about Southwest Florida Television. Anyway, have a great Wednesday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.